Welcome back to Inside Politics. Our guest today is Howard Gentry. He's a candidate for Nashville mayor. Howard, we talked a little bit in talking about your Office of Social Equity for that being dealing in some ways with affordable housing opportunities. That's a multifaceted issue for everything from homeless to gentrification to lots of other issues. As mayor, not all of Nashville is under the land control of the Metro Council. There are lots of other satellite cities. Is affordable housing something you're going to try to advocate for in all parts of Nashville, not just, just necessarily inside Davidson County or inside the areas outside the satellite cities? You know, Davidson County absolutely is the most important area for me because I'll be the mayor of Davidson County. But everything you do, especially as it relates to poverty, homelessness, affordable housing in the under, underserved community, helps all communities if you can take sometimes a regional approach to them because um, when you are developing programs around housing or poverty or homelessness, uh, people move a lot. How do you combat the nimbyism that comes up? Everybody's for affordable housing until it shows up close to their neighborhood. Yeah, well, you have to let them know that that is the problem. That is the problem. If, you, if you're talking about creating um, hundreds of affordable housing opportunities around the city or thousands of affordable housing opportunities around the city, I would tell you right now, if you don't want them in your backyard, it's not going to work. Or else you're going to ask me to create communities of poverty, and I won't do that. So what we have to do is we have to influence our community that if we really are the it city, if we really, really want to do the right thing, then people should live in, in um, together, and people should be able to grow up together in, uh, in spite of their economic status. One of your opponents, Bill Freeman, has a new TV ad out that says he's in favor and endorsing the idea of regional light rail. Everybody wants to be for mass transit. Would light rail be part of your program, or do you, or do you think there's something else you want to do? Well, light, mares, light, light rail is definitely part of it, but it's got to be mixed modal. It's, it's, uh, we've got to be very... Um, uh, agile in in doing this because there there's so many parts that are moving uh, as it relates to our transportation. You're the only mayoral can candidate who's not run television ads to this point. Do you plan? How important is TV in your campaign? And do you plan to do some? You know, TV is important, but again, as I stated earlier, a lot of the candidates are spending a lot of money to to reap the investment I've already made. And the fact is, to get out there while all the noise is going on uh, might not be the smartest thing for me. It's not the smartest thing for me. Uh, I have high name recognition. Now, the fact is, I've got to do something. But you can't to, sit on your name. I can't sit on it, but right now, uh, it has been um, the plan. And we will get out on TV, and we'll do what everybody else is doing, but we'll do it at the right time. There have been questions in the media about your attendance at work, particularly based on the swipe cards at the Metro Courthouse you used to get in and out into the garage. Uh, it was not as good as other clerks. Uh, you say that's not really a story. I'm not comparing myself to other clerks. As a matter of fact, I just came in your gate behind you, and I, and I didn't swipe. Uh, the fact is that there are a lot of days that I go to work, and that happens. There are a lot of days I go up the elevator, and other people are already on it. The fact is, I'm not going to be um, uh, defined by a swipe card. I'm not going to be defined by a calendar because there's nothing else there. Uh, the fact is that I do go to work. I work hard. I've been working all my life. Uh, this story that came out was not something that just popped up um, out of the blue. It was it was a planned uh, attack, and, and that's fine. But you know you'll I, have to continue. If you, you make know the runoff, what? you know it might particularly become an issue when it gets down to just two It's candidates. okay. Well, it, it is an issue, and, and if someone wants to make it an issue, then, then let's go with it. i tell you what I do I'll, now, since it did happen. If I do leave my card, I do go back home and get it now. So maybe there was a positive there. Uh, the Metro Council on Tuesday night is going to look at a pay raise for the next mayor, taking it up to $180,000. Probably an awkward time for any candidate, but if it goes into effect and you are the next mayor, will you take the raise? Yeah, I'll take it. And, but, you know, it's not about taking, I mean, what, what, the fact is, why would I not? Uh, but he, the reality of it is, is that uh, if they raise the salary, it's because it's supposed to be raised, and that's the decision of the council. If they don't raise it, I'll be fine with what they pay. Uh, but I'm not going to make it a political 
uh, ball. The fact is that when I was vice mayor here in Nashville, that's when the council raised the salary to what it is today. That's been a long time. It's been almost 20 years. And so, well, not 20 years, but it's been a long time. And the fact is, if mayors in other cities are making uh, more money and, and if that's what the council feels should be done, uh, then that's what it will be. One last question. The Election Commission has decided because they're in a budget fight with the mayor's office about how much money they should get this year for the budget. They don't have enough money because they want to add some employees. They don't have t enough money to do that, plus keep all these satellite uh, early voting operations that they normally have up. Uh, do you think, the, which, which side are you on? Do you think the Election Commission is playing politics about this? I'm on the side of the people. Uh, the fact is that we have been, we live in a city where only a third of our voters vote. And so we have been working hard, even around the country, to get people uh, to move out of the apathetic uh, place that they are and get involved in voting. Nashville has started to turn the corner on that and started to uh, do a better job to shut down the voting in early voting. It, I think if it is politics, it's sad because we don't let politics get in the way of democracy. And, and I think it's regressive to shut down voting polls when your early voting numbers are now almost half of of your voting uh, population to make it inconvenient for people. The whole thing about having the different satellites is so that people could vote at any one of those locations. Now you're taking an opportunity away from the public that I think is, is sad. Harry Gentry, thank you for coming on the show. Thank Best you. of luck between now and August. Right. If you are successful in making the runoff, I'd like to have you come back for the, for the elections coming up then too. Well, thank you then. I look forward to coming back. <laughs> yes. And thank you for joining us this week on Inside Politics. Hope you'll be back here again for a future show. If you can't get enough politics in the meantime, go to the News Channel 5 website. You'll find my Capital View commentary there. The Zoo commentary posted every Friday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.